Toyota says its new BZ4X will have twice the range that it does today. In fact, it's saying that it's going to have well over 600 miles of range, insane fast charging. You have to charge the battery in about 15 minutes. And all of this is coming out within, in fact, just over two years. Toyota says it's going to go from last to first. It's leapfrogging the entire industry. And by the way, it's actually got an investor meeting tomorrow where investors are demanding that it uh, stop its lobbying against EVs. Wow. You know, Toyota fans are the ones who are still holding out, largely. Most Toyota fans, not most, maybe, but a lot of them, still don't want to buy electric cars, or at least say they're not ready for them. And the reason is because they're Toyota fans, and Toyota don't make any EVs. So what are they going to do now? What are they going to do now that Toyota has just revealed this insane information? Wow. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. And welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Just want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, that'd be amazing. I'll put a link in the description below. Toyota just said they're going to make an electric car with 900 miles of range. If you're a skeptic, yeah, I get it. You're probably expecting me to say something like, yeah, that's 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 a joke, but I think it's true. In fact, I don't think it's true. I know it's true. Will Toyota do it this year? No. Will they do it next year? Certainly not. Will they do it the following year? Probably not. I, when I say it's true, I say this with a big caveat. They might do it in 10 years' time. It will happen eventually. I don't know about when it will happen, though. That's the question here. Now, keep in mind, Another electric car just got revealed in China using CATL's new Chirin battery. And it also has more than a thousand kilometers of range. I think it's got about 1,050 kilometers. So it's got over 600 miles of range. Of course, caveat, that is CLTC range. Probably looking at about 850 kilometers EPA range. That's massive, especially considering it's relatively affordable and the battery pack size is big, but not enormous. It's a 115 kilowatt hour battery. So if Toyota was to use a battery like this and put it in a relatively aerodynamic and lightweight electric car, that's going to be a challenge for them. But if they were to do that, then they could pull it off even today. But it would need a big battery, a very big battery. Now, if they're getting this much range out of a cheering battery, uh, say, you know, 900 kilometers in the real world, turning that into 900 miles, well, you would need a battery about twice the size. You'd probably need a 200 kilowatt hour cheering battery. But remember, that would be a very, very heavy battery. So obviously, you wouldn't be able to double your range simply by doubling the size of the battery. So how are Toyota actually going to pull this off? Well, I don't know, but I like what they're saying. And the irony here is, it is so much in contrast with Toyota's previous statement saying, no, EVs are not for everyone. They won't work for some people. Long range is a problem. All of a sudden, they say these comments many, many times, and then they say, oh, I don't know, we're going to make an EV with 900 miles of range. No problems. Seems a bit weird, doesn't it? Newly revealed Toyota EV plans include batteries with not only 900 miles of range, but more than 900 miles. In fact, Toyota say they are readying a whole bunch of new batteries with next gen electric vehicles that are capable of doing this. So they're saying that they're not saying what I'm saying. They're saying they're going to be doing it within a few years. But keep this in mind. Toyota have actually been making similar claims to this, which the media hasn't reported on. I don't know why, but they don't because could be because Toyota spends more money on marketing than any other company in the world, but no, any other automotive company. But Toyota have been making similar claims now for actually nearly 10 years, nearly 10 years. So what have Toyota said this time? Solid state batteries for electric vehicles with ranges of 900 miles or more are doable. In fact, Toyota are going to do it. Software operating systems that update automatically, futuristic factories where cars drive themselves through final assembly, ultra sleek aerodynamics developed through rocket science. These are all things that Toyota says it will achieve under pressure to show that it has a winning game plan for the disruptive new age of electric vehicles. 
Toyota Motor Corporation has spilled fresh details about its plans to leapfrog ahead in just a few years. And I wonder if this has anything to do with the fact that Nissan's downgraded to junk. So Nissan's debt now, they've got to pay more in interest rates for their debt. Nissan has nothing in, in debt in comparison to Toyota. Toyota has $187 billion in debt. Nissan has about $35 billion. Big difference, right? So I wonder if Toyota is sort of thinking, well, we need to appease our debtors. We need to tell them all the amazing things we're going to do because currently they know we sell products that are being disrupted. Top executives of Toyota revealed part of its wide-ranging strategy for the first time this month at Toyota's Kagashi Fuji Technical Center in the foothills of Mount Fuji under the theme, Let's Change the Future of Cars. An all-day executive briefing drove home Toyota's point that contrary to being left behind, it is both the technology and the production system needed to deliver industry-leading EVs from 2026. So Toyota is saying, yeah, we're behind, way behind now. We sort of admit that. But in 2026, we will lead the industry. So they're going to go from being behind the industry to leading the industry within two and a half years' time. I'm curious, do you believe this? Is this believable? Let me know in the comments. The showcase comes amid mounting criticism among some investors, environmental activists, and EV enthusiasts that Toyota Motor Corporation is not fully engaged in the global race for battery-powered cars. Toyota holds a key annual shareholders meeting on the 14th of June, as in uh, tomorrow, in which management is fending off a shareholder proposal mandating that the company review its climate-related lobbying activities to determine whether they align with global carbon neutrality goals. This is a shareholder proposal. Shareholders are saying, uh, Toyota, we want you to actually address this. Toyota is basically saying, no, 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 no we don't need to address that. No, we don't, want to, we don't want to respond to that. Toyota rejects the proposal unilaterally, saying its disclosures are sufficient as the company sets an aggressive carbon reduction roadmap and is doing its part by advancing electrification. To back its position, sorry. Oh my goodness. Every time I hear this from Toyota, I just can't. To back its position, how do you back your position when you don't have one? Toyota cited its publicly stated goal to sell 3.5 million electric vehicles a year in 2030. Now, of course, that's just a combination of hybrids, plug-in hybrids and EVs. Only 1.2 million of those will be electric, meaning that only around 12% of the cars Toyota plans on selling, it won't sell 10 million cars in 2030, that's a pipe dream, it thinks it will, but it won't. But only 12% of its planned future production in 2030 is actually fully electric. At last week's technical showcase, Executives pledged that about 1.7, not 1.2. So 17%, not 12%. Wow, what a difference. Anyhow, 1.7 million of those 3.5 million vehicles will be next generation, or what Toyota is calling Step 3 electric vehicles that boast cutting-edge breakthroughs. So what are the cutting-edge breakthroughs that Toyota has been claiming it would be making? They claim they'd make them... They, in fact, Toyota claimed in 2015 it had these cutting-edge breakthroughs very publicly said it actually had a production version of them. Uh, for some reason, that production version, that which they said worked at the time, didn't work the next year or the following year or the following year. In fact, Toyota said that production battery would be in their EVs in 2019, 2020, 21, and 22. This is what it told investors. Now, if you think Elon Musk is making things up, there's a big difference between saying you have a solid state battery ready for production cars that will be in every electric car you make in 2021 and 2022 and not having a battery at all to show to anyone and you never show it to the outside world ever. And you said you had it in 2015 and eight years later, you still have nothing. The SEC thinks that's okay. No worries. Toyota just say whatever you want, no problem, not an issue. If the media said something about it, maybe it would be different, but they haven't. I'm the only person who has mentioned this anywhere that I know of on YouTube or in the media at all. Toyota said, we're determined to be the world leader in batteries. They've been saying that for years. We will need various options for batteries, just like we have various different engines. 
it is important to make these batteries compatible with any kind of model. Kiji Kaita, Toyota's top battery guru and the president of its Carbon Neutral Advancement Engineering Development Center, outlined five new batteries that will debut by the end of the decade. They kick off with a next generation lithium ion power pack that will double the range the current power pack used in the current BZ4X electric crossover has. The new battery will deliver driving range of 621 miles. So the new BZ4X has the worst range of any EV with a battery pack its size. I mean, it, it just got tested again. Toyota just said, oh, we've fixed it. We've fixed all the problems with range, right? We've reduced the unused capacity. So we've increased the usable capacity in the battery pack, meaning there's a smaller buffer now, and it's still got 15% less than its claims. And every other EV almost, it was the worst, in fact, in terms of the claims versus what it actually got in the real world. So Toyota's saying it's literally going to more than double the range of the BZ4X in the new version. I want to know what magic they've got. I'm, I'm absolutely intrigued to know if there's any, any veracity or truth behind this, because whatever it is, it's got to be a huge earth shattering improvement in comparison to what they're producing now. If you just bought a BZ4X and they really have this new version with 621 miles that will come out in 2026, dump it, get rid of it because it's going to be worth nothing. So it will cost 20% less than Toyota's current EV batteries, this new battery they say, and will be able to recharge from 10% to 80% in less than 20 minutes. Toyota compared those targets with the BZ4X's battery range of 382 miles, which it's not nowhere near, and a 30 minute recharging time. The next generation lithium ion battery will debut in 2026, but Toyota won't disclose what it is and how they're exactly it's going to be so miraculously good, or how it will charge at those speeds, or how it will have that kind of energy density. I'd love to know what it is, or if there even is such a battery. Do you think there is? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.